Carl De Stefano here. I've got a beautiful song here today, Anima Core. Uh, it was written in Italy in 1950 by Salvatore de Esposito, with lyrics by Domenico Tito Manlio. And it was first sung by a famous Italian tenor, Tito Schipa. And the song became a huge hit throughout Italy, <clears throat> and then an international hit. And it was translated into a number of different languages, including three English versions, one in the UK, one in Canada, and one in America. And the American lyrics were written by uh, Man Curtis and Harry Askett. <clears throat> and the title is Italian for soul and heart. I know in English lyrics and poems, we like to say heart and soul because it flows better in our language. But in Italian, it flows better to say soul and heart. And uh, <clears throat> I know I've spoken in other videos how songs kind of come to me, sometimes for no rhyme or reason. And this one came slowly and with difficulty because the song or the beginning part of the song started to drift through my mind in and out a couple weeks ago and uh, I didn't think much of it at first but then as it kept coming back I thought hey this is a this is a nice song I think it's a beautiful Italian song with an Italian title but I couldn't remember that and uh, you know I, I thought maybe Dean Martin might have sung it and I looked at his stuff and I couldn't find it there then I started to reminisce over my Italian music career which isn't very obvious if you look at all of my YouTube videos, you won't find any Italian songs there. <laughs> but I played Italian music from the very beginning of my career. Uh, you know, for starters, <clears throat> all of my grandparents were Italian immigrants. And, my, and they had big families. And my dad's family was particularly musical. Um, Aunt Josie, she was a dance instructor. She was a fine dancer. And uh, they had, um, in my dad's family, two uncles, Uncle Louie and Uncle Tony, and uh, they played mandolin and guitar. And so my dad and his brother, my Uncle Lizzo, they were going to follow in their footsteps. Uh, they ended up, they both played the mandolin, you know. Uh, so, uh, and my dad had all these records and tapes, so I was listening to Italian music as a teenager in the home. And uh, my, first, uh, <coughs> my first job on my guitar was to learn to accompany my dad and my uncle Lizzo when they played all their Italian songs on their mandolin. I would play the chords and the bass, so that I learned anything they played, I learned. And then as I developed uh, as a player, there was a, a professional mandolin player in, in uh, Omaha who was the son of <coughs> Italian immigrants as well, uh, Sam Mangimelli. And he had a steady music job at uh, Mr. C's restaurant and he played a lot of other music engagements and had a huge Italian library. And I became his primary a guitar accompanist for a long time I'm gonna say 15 20 years maybe maybe longer and he and I learned all of his songs so uh, that was another big bunch of songs and then I was one of the founding members <coughs> of an Italian band a seven-piece band uh, that, in which I played string bass uh, we called the band La Banda Italiana and we played for uh, New Year's Eve, the New Year's Eve party, the Italian, the annual Italian festivals, the uh, different uh, Italian functions, weddings, birthdays, gatherings, and uh, also I had a, an other uncle, uh, my uncle Jerry Smith, who was a really fine rhythm guitar player, and he played in our Italian band. Um, so, uh, and all these. Uh, all this Italian music in all these circumstances I played my whole playing career so for 30 years I was playing Italian music <laughs> but
but all the reminiscing didn't help me find um, the title to this song. But I, <clears throat> coincidentally, you know how things happen, I was out at my cousin Ralph Smith's farm uh, a week ago, and he is the son of my guitar playing Uncle Jerry, and uh, uh, I was out there to pick some Swiss chard and to pick up a bale of um, hay for my garden. And Ralph is very generous, always giving me gifts. And among the gifts that he gave me on this trip was uh, a stack of music books that he bought at the thrift, at the thrift store. <clears throat> Excuse me. And uh, I opened one of them that had the sheet music to 700 songs in it. And I went to the beginning of the table of contents, letter A, and I went down and bingo, I see a song. Anima Core, and I said, hey, I think that might be the song I'm looking for, and sure enough it was. So now that I had the song, the name of it, I could go listen to performances, and I found three beautiful performances of this song, one by <clears throat> American singer Perry Como, who was also the son of Italian Im immigrants and a fine singer, and another by uh, Michael Buble, the Canadian singer, and another by Andrea Bocelli, the Italian tenor. And um, they were all beautiful performances. You know, these are world-class singers backed up by great orchestras with wonderful arrangements. And so I was able to get a lot of great ideas for my version of the song. And also, I discovered that this song has a beautiful verse which I did not know anything about. So that was a bonus. Um, and, and in reminiscing over, <clears throat> over all this Italian music career that I talked about, the one uh, memory that really surfaced for me was uh, that of my Uncle Lizzo. Uh, you know, I only got to play with him once a year when he and my Aunt Janet would visit to Omaha from California. And we had such a great time, you know. I looked forward to it so eagerly. We had all these different family parties and, uh, you know, all four of us would play instruments and the girls would sing, the sisters. And uh, and then during the, uh, you know, in the mornings, I would go find my uncle. Uh, he was staying at, normally staying at my Aunt Josie's home I would go over there, and uh, after breakfast, just he and I would sit in the living room in a quiet space with nobody around, you know, no noise and commotion. And we would sit, and I would, we would play his music. Um, I would accompany him on the mand on the guitar, you know, and he would play the mandolin. And uh, that was just such a great time for me. Uh, and, you know, he was a good player. Um, he played with sensitivity. He had a good feeling for music. And he sometimes he would play in a very articulate manner and sometimes softly and expressively. And I really appreciated his musicianship. And I would tell him about, I would tell him how good he was. And he really liked that. <laughs> uh, and uh, it was just, uh, I'll never forget those times uh, playing with my uncle. Um, so today this song goes out to Uncle Lizzo's children. Tony, Lenny, Mariana, Joanna. Uh, and I know it'll bring a smile to their faces and uh, it'll make them uh, think of all the beautiful uh, Italian songs that their dad played so passionately on his mandolin. Uh, I'll pick up my guitar here and uh, present my own humble rendition of uh, Anima Core. Oops, my mouse went to sleep. Probably bored with the long story. Oh, actually, it goes to sleep to conserve its battery. It's a smart mouse. Okay, here we go with this beautiful song, Anime Quare. <laughs> I 
I've got a yearning to caress you. One thought keeps burning in my soul. A hungry yearning to possess you. It's far beyond control. I want your love now and forever. I want you heart and soul. I'd give to you on me core I only live for you on me core I have but one desire and it's to love you with all my heart all my soul my whole life through from stars i'll build your crown and kneel before you i pray you'll take my hand for i adore you please open up the doors leading to heaven a heaven mine and yours on me quote There's the beautiful Anima Core in memory of my uncle Lizzo.